Welcome back to SRC. Today we will be reading Black Flies by Robert Munch. And we'll be making these really cute pine cone critters. Today we're going to be reading Black Flies, which is a Robert Munch book. And it's illustrated by Jay Ogic, published by Scholastic Canada. So big thanks to them for letting us read this. Black Flies. Helen got up very early one morning and looked out the window and said, no snow. The snow is all gone. I love springtime. She opened the front door and heard, nee. Oh no, said Helen. It's the mosquitoes. It's the black flies. They're here. Ah -ha -ha. And then she ran and hid under her bed. Then she got an idea. I think, she said, that I will go see how bad the bugs really are. So she went to her little sister and said, Megan, could you go outside and tell me how cold it is? Well, said Megan, I guess I can, but I get to watch my TV show when I come back. No problem, said Helen. So Megan opened up the front door and ran outside in her pajamas. 16 gazillion black flies and mosquitoes landed on her. Megan yelled, ah! The 16 gazillion black flies and mosquitoes picked up Megan and carried her across the road to the black spruce forest where wolves and bears live. Oh dear, said Helen. The bugs are worse than I thought. Then Helen's father came downstairs and said, where's Megan? Well, said Helen, I think Megan's in the woods in her pajamas. In her pajamas, yelled Helen's father. I'm going to go get her right now. And he ran out the door in his pajamas. Helen said, I don't think that's a good idea. 16 gazillion mosquitoes and black flies jumped on him, picked him up in the air and carried him across the road to the black spruce forest where the wolves and bears live. Good heavens, said Helen, I have to do something. So she looked for bug spray. She found a can that said really yucky bug glutch. Gave a little spritz and said yuck, but not strong enough. She found another can that said super strong, really yucky bug glitch. Gave a little spritz and said gluck, but this is still not strong enough. She found another can that said super strong, extra yucky, even knocks out wolves bug glitch. Gave a little spritz and yelled, yuck, clack, bleh. That's strong enough. Helen ran across the street and into the woods, spraying the bug spray in front of her. She came to a big pile of black flies and mosquitoes. From underneath, something was yelling, ow, 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 ow. Yell Helen sprayed the pile for a while. And finally, the black flies and mosquitoes flew away. Underneath was a wolf, and Helen was spraying the bug spray right into the wolf's face. The wolf yelled, yuck, clack, bleh, and fell over. Sorry, said Helen. Helen walked some more, and she came to a bigger pile of black flies and mosquitoes. From underneath, something was yelling, ow, ah, ow, ah. She, Helen sprayed the pile for a while, and finally the black flies and the mosquitoes flew away. Underneath was a bear, and Helen was spraying the bug spray right in the bear's face. The bear yelled, yuck, clack, clack, bleh, and fell over. Sorry, said Helen. Helen walked some more, and she came to another pile of black flies and mosquitoes. From underneath, something was yelling, ow, 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 ow. Helen sprayed that pile for a while, and finally, the black flies and mosquitoes flew away. Underneath was Megan, and Helen was spraying the bug spray right in her face. Megan yelled, yuck, glack, bleh, and ran around bumping into trees. Sorry, said Helen. Helen and Megan went farther into the woods until they found another big pile of mosquitoes and black flies. It was jumping up and down, yelling, ow, ah, ow, ah. I hope, said Helen that this is my dad. I do not want to meet another bear. Helen sprayed that pile for a while and finally the black flies and the mosquitoes flew away. There was Helen's dad and Helen was spraying the bug spray right in his face. He yelled, yuck, clack, bleh. Sorry, said Helen. 
and they stood until they heard a sound that sounded like it was 64 gazillion mosquitoes and black flies getting ready to come back because they decided that they liked the bug spray. Run, yelled Helen's dad, and they all ran really fast through the woods, across the road, through the front yard, and into the house. After Then, after breakfast, they all came out wearing bug jackets and bug hats and went for a walk in the woods because it was, after all, springtime. But unfortunately, there were no hats or jackets to keep away the bears. All right, you guys, thanks again to Scholastic Canada for letting us read this. So today we're gonna to be making these really cute pine cone critters. Let's learn how. So for this craft, you're going to need some pine cones. You can just go outside and find some, some paint, and then a paint dish, some paint brushes and some water, and then some felt, some little pom-poms, googly eyes, pencil, some scissors, and a hot glue gun. So you're going to start out by choosing your paint colors and then just putting some in your paint dish. This paint is going to be used to paint our pine cones. So once you have the paint ready, just start going. Once you've painted all your pine cones, you're going to want to put them aside to dry and get your felt out. Now we're going to make the faces for all your little creatures. So you can either use a pencil to trace or you can just do freehand like I did here. And using your scissors, you're just going to cut around approximately a small circle. I did a little frilly detail and you can do any shape you like for the face. Once you've done the face, make sure you cut out two small ears. Now we've cut out all our faces and our ears, it's time to stick them on. Make sure your pine cones are dry before doing so. Now the faces are all glued on, it's time to glue on the ears. Next is the googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes at home, you could always draw on your eyes with a felt pen. We chose a variety of different sizes to create different effects. Now you're gonna wanna get your pom-poms out and stick them on for the nose. If you don't have pom-poms at home, you can always draw the nose on with a felt marker as well. And there's the finished project. 